Yo, I'm back again, doing a uh, checkup on my uh, roaches. If y'all look, I separated everybody. I got uh, two totes, well actually I got one tote with all my roaches in it, all my doobie, doobie roaches. Um, the other two totes got like a lot of frass in it and that's my clear tote that's right here my clear tote, my clear tote got all the frass and a couple of the large and baby and some of my beetles in there so I put my egg flax in there egg crates to try to get all the roaches to go in there and then I could take them out instead of trying to go through all the frass but I want the frass oh I want the beetles and I want my uh, my little babies out of there too. Um, but I want my beetles, the frash. I can keep a little bit of frash uh, for my very very small babies, uh, uh, dubin roaches. Why? They like to stay in it. Plus, I mean, they can hide. They're secure in that. Um, but that's what I was told, and pretty much they like it. Um, so now the other container. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like my adults, uh, where my my large, and then my adult nymphs, in this one, and then my breeders I'm gonna put in this one, uh, here. Um, I got my mat, uh, then I got my regulator so I can keep my temperature base at 80, 85. Um, I got them all on my containers. Um, like I said, I turned it off today, and I'm gonna separate everybody. Um, right now, I got my five bucket container. This one is the five uh, 2564, um, but I made it a little bigger. I hauled out the insides of the uh, the bucket to try to make it bigger. Bigger, cause why? My uh, my half inch drill bit don't fit my drill. So I tried to put my five, my 2564, and then I tried to wall it out a little bit, try to make it bigger. Um, my next size is my three eighths. Uh, my next one will be my five sixteens, and my last one will be my one fourth. And then my last uh, bucket is this, my collector, my collector bucket, collection bucket. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and try to get this started so I can get everybody separated. And then um, you see how much roaches I have. And, and y'all know that, like I said, I got this Gorilla Tape. And I got two-sided uh, wire mesh showing it. Um, but nobody gotten out yet, so so let's see what I got. So there's a couple of them that still left from the, the fresh, the beetles, and all that still in this one. So, I mean, my beetles in there. So far, this is what's left from my main container. So as you see, this is what left. I mean I had a lot of a lot of dots left from that that container.
But, um, so, I got a lot of dopes, a lot of nymphs from just that frag, just sitting in that frag. So, how do I get a beetle in here? That's crazy. How did I get a beetle, uh, a mealworm beetle? So now I'm going to show you. I mean, I've got a lot of frads in here. I still got a lot of adults in here that's uh, trying to run it hard. Uh, but I'm trying to figure out how did I got a beetle in here. I mean, I got uh, cadaver beetles in here, so I mean. Got a lot of dead. I got a lot of multi but they didn't a lot they have multi a lot in here. I got a lot of dead ones. Where did this beetle come from? That's what I'm trying to find out. Maybe y'all can tell me. How did this beetle, a worm, a super worm beetle, got in my, uh, my roach colony? Like, subscribe, comment down below. Talk to him. Tell me how did he get in there. So that's all my dead ones that's left in there.
Okay. That's the 2564 I made bigger bucket. So, I got another one out of there. I thought I seen another nip up there. There's another nip in there. These are a lot of molted uh, carcasses left in here so they've been molting a lot I mean to the point where I got a lot of males a lot of females I mean I got a lot of babies alright so I'm down to the 516 I'm down to nut but legs and legs, half bodies. I mean, so I mean, get down to the wire. I'm down to my one fourth. And the only thing left in here is going to be babies, it look like. And a lot of fries, so. Huh. I don't want the. I don't want all that uh, legs in there, though. But I do want some fries. And I do want my, uh, my, my beetles. But I don't want to keep the uh, all the carcasses, the dead legs, and all the legs and whatnot that's left over.
fries in there with the little babies. So they can hide. I don't know, I'm sorry it's going it's taking so long. Just trying to go through my bin, my bucket. Hope I'm doing this right. But like I said, I don't want to lose all my beetles and my worms to to help clean my colony. And right now I got a lot of worms in there. A lot of beetles. Got a couple of babies still in there. Now that I got that, I need to put them as friends. I need to clean that colony out. Hey, I'm going to pause for a minute. I'm going to come back. I'm going to clean out this clear bin. I'll be back in a minute. Alright, I'm back. Now, it's time to go through the big colony because I dumped all the roaches into one tub last week. So now, this is everybody. I mean, this is everybody. What I would like to see, get a little closer. What I would like to see would be, um, pregnant female that knows I mean that will let me know that they really are doing their thing but the white ones are the multi ones so that means they're growing and you can see tons of babies I got I got tons of babies in here so I mean and that's just two egg crates I mean Starting to get heavy. I mean, I'm getting there.
see a lot of males in here. Trying to get a little heavy at the bottom, people. Still haven't found a female yet. I mean, that's a pregnant female. See, I'm getting there. You know, I might not see a female that's pregnant with the egg sac. And then, but I know my colony is scribing. I mean, they grow it because, I mean, look at all these babies in here, yo. These nymphs, I mean. Look at all the babies right here. So I know. I mean, then again, 
I did this last week. I dumped all the roaches into this one tub here. This tub. I put everybody in this one tub. And what was left from this tub and that tub is in that. So I will show you that. Um, I need to kill, I need to breed off some of my males. I'm looking at a lot of males here, yo. So I need to feed off some of my males and try to figure out my ratio of how many males I got and how many females I got. You should have what? Five females for every one male. That would be awesome if that was true in real life, huh? Playing dead, huh? I see y'all playing dead. Come on. So what I got left from here is scragglers, uh, some more uh, dead ones, a lot of molt, I guess when they've been, uh, they molted out, they grew basically like that one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put them in the bucket. I'm going to go ahead and separate these from the bucket. So I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back again. It's time for me to go ahead and get my adult back in the bin. And then put my, uh, what's left probably from the other bin, I mean the other bucket, I'm going to put back in this bin. And what's left from the babies, the, the small itty bitty babies and then the Next level up, I'm going to put back in the clear paint and see what I got from there. So, some of the adults I can get through this first bucket, the 2564, I tried to uh, make the hole a little bigger. I was trying to go for a half an inch, but and they can still get through it, so and then this is the next. What's this? This is a uh, three eighths. They can still get through the three eighths. So I put these adults back in this one. left out of this one should be my next level up I'm going to put them in this one and I'm going to transfer them back into the outlet
Then what's left out of these two buckets will be my babies. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all in this one. All the babies. Another babies. I do this a couple more times and then I'm gonna I should wrap it up but yeah so all my dogs go in this one what's uh, left from that would be the let's see how should I can you see that that'll be my next level up that will go back in this tub the, this tub so all my dogs go in this one my next level would be this one will go in this tub and my itty bitty babies will go in the clear tub so I'm gonna do this a couple more times till I finish getting everything sorted out I'll be back alright so for my large colony this one I got left I pulled some already inside so this is all I got. This is going into the large carbon adults. Um, I got a couple. Of, I might got a couple of small females in there, small males. Uh, but like you know, mostly all adults. But um. So, all my dopes go on in here, all my dopes in here, then I'm going to put my second colony, the, you might got a dose in there too, but mostly nips, about this size. You got adults, males in there, that they skin doesn't slide through the hole. Slide through that uh, 2564, but they probably can't go through the 3 eighths. So, I'm going to give a couple shakes on that, see if I can get them out. If not, I'll put them into my second colony. And then what's left on the bottom two buckets, the small babies, I'm going to put them in the small clear tub. some nymphs, real small nymphs. I wonder if I just take these and put them into the second tub and then what's left from the bottom bucket will be these and my baby. So I think I might do that. So this was left from that. So I'm gonna put this in the second tub. I mainly got all the adults in this tub. I'm gonna put these nymphs with a couple males, might be a couple females in there, and see how bad that colony grows. I know this is gonna do something. And then what's left with my babies, I'm gonna put the babies in the clear tub with the frass and see how they go from there. Let's 
So what's left in this bucket and from the bottom bucket are some nymphs, small nymphs. So they going into the clear tub with these. So what's left? This one will be left. Now they going into the clear tub with the rest of the babies. And see, this is what's left from that bucket. So these are smaller. And then, if I move this bucket, you got the real small babies down there. So, they all going into this bucket. <laughs> 